this was cool. Uh, I'm, you know, not always excited about the sort of latest uh, Fox News, uh, you know, antics. And sometimes when people get on there and kind of break the set on Fox, it's cool. But, you know, who knows? I mean, I, th th my point is, is that in all of the media mess, this actually really stood out. This is Dr. Rishi Desai. He was on Fox with Martha McCollum. This has been making the rounds. And I think, Frank, I mean, this is great, obviously, to go to the heart of Trump Republican propaganda. Um, but I, I also would love to see him, uh, frankly, uh, educate uh, folks uh, on the other side of the divide who are, you know, praising South Korea without wanting to mimic any of South Korea's policies like national health care. At any rate, Rishi did, uh, Dr. Desai, I should say, did a great job here. And uh, they clearly didn't know how to handle it large scale testing. Now, what we hear every night is that the test that there are millions of tests available. And yet um, we're, we don't have that pinprink blood test that you can just sort of get, you know, at your local doctor and know in 15 minutes. But they're working yeah, great on it. Question. Yeah, they're working on it. They should have been working on it for months. So the fact is, we knew about this from the WHO when December 31st, 2019. So last year, we knew about this. We knew coronavirus is coming. We knew it was a respiratory disease. We knew it was person to person. Why is it that it's this week that the FDA finally approved these kind of new Abbott lab testing, which, by the way, is one test at a time? It's a great test, but it's one test at a time. It's different than the labs that are doing mass testing, right? So this is a wonderful test. Don't get me wrong, but it's one test per 15 minutes. That's wonderful, but it's not the same volume that you really need. This is better for kind of outpatient clinics and things like that. We needed this months ago. You look at Korea, Korea, South Korea and the US had their first official confirmed case on the same date, January 19th. Mm. That means since January 19th, you look at what South Korea did and what we did, their population is one sixth of ours. Look at the cases they have, look at the mortality they have. It's a trifle compared to what we're dealing with right now because we've had a very weak response and they had a really strong response. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you. Very interesting to talk to you, Dr. Desai. I uh, hope you'll come back uh, as we move through this difficult sure. period in the country. Dr. Desai, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hope you come back. Yeah. You just completely laid bare all of the bullshit that we've been pushing on this channel from the administration for months now uh, while they cause all of these preventable deaths. Um, I would recommend, I mean, I think, uh, I think people should really, really definitely, um, you know, look at what South Korea is doing, um, both in terms of the response rate now, uh, but again, also the health system in place that allows them to move with that kind of speed, uh, you know, Somehow Bernie let Joe Biden get away with saying that, you know, oh, well, Italy has universal health care, but look at what's going on with them. And of course, the problem was not that they have health care for everybody. That's essential. That's why Spain is nationalizing its hospitals. The point was, was that Italy didn't respond with speed. So in the United States, we have no speed, no infrastructure, no single payer. That's why we're a failed state. And that's why we're leading uh, 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 in terms of fatality rates and infections.